Okay, I'm back with part three of the Amplified Studio uh, review, uh, first take, whatever you want to call it. So I eventually created an account and logged in, and when I did, uh, it gave me nine more free sound packs. So all together, I have eight sound packs. And uh, 18, I'm sorry, 18 sound packs. And... Uh, so logging in, I don't know if it's because I'm a focal right customer or what that it gave me those extra packs. But you can go to uh, the website here somewhere. It will go, and it 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 it, it would have more about that. But what I couldn't find was any more packs. Uh, maybe there's some on on here somewhere, but I couldn't find any more. So. And what I found out is that you can't export it to WAVE, but you can export it to uh, MP3. And you can export it to Ableton Live, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, what I was curious about is can you mix and match these packs? And the answer is yes. You can take the drums from this pack and put in a bass from this pack and effects from this patch and it would work together and which I did that I took that loop and this loop from different packs and I just put them together and came up with what I have now And that's what it is. So um, one other thing that I came across is sec section link. You can do that to let that section play a half a bar, one bar, uh, two bars, all the way up to 16 bars. So with this right here, you have eight sections at 16 bars. What that give you? That give you... Uh, maximum 128 bars, so that's that's cool. And what what it don't have is a way to put uh, your own stuff in here, or to use other packs outside of this, or the import packs. I don't see that anywhere. Uh, but here's the good news: you can export it to Ableton Live. Well, I don't have Ableton Live. I have Ableton Live Lite here. And you can export it to Ableton Live. And here you can put your vocals and whatever else you need to put on it. Um, and it, it works. <laughs> And it works. It works. So that's the plus to the software. You can export it to Ableton Live and work on it from there. Now, the other thing is, is what can you do with, with these uh, loops? Are they royalty free or what? Well, you can go to to the website and go to Amplify, Amplify Sounds, and I don't know. You just have to read and see. They got some legal stuff on here somewhere. Uh, 
sound pack usage. And it, it tells you what type of license you need to have in order to use it on a commercial level. But all in all, I think it's a, it's, it's a good beginner's program. I think it's good to start ideas, uh, good starter program to get your ideas flowing, get your creative juices flowing. And it, I think it would be great for a beginner, somebody that want to get into music production. And I'm pretty sure they'll make it better along the way. You know, add some things, make some things better. But all in all, I get I give it a, a thumbs up.